Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add live search to your WordPress website. Let me explain to you what a live search is. So right now in our website, we can see we have this search box and uh, when we type something, it is uh, being shown over here and uh, when we click on search, we get the results of uh, the search over here. But if we have live search on our website, then if we type S, then whatever search results that we have will be shown over here live and if you type A then whatever results we have for SA will be shown live over here before even clicking on this search button so then you can go ahead and click on any of those posts or pages and then you can access that or you can even click on search and the search page will be displayed so this is how live search works so in this video, I'll show you how to add live search to your WordPress website. So let's get started. Now we already saw that live search is not on by default in WordPress. So for that, we have to use a plugin. So let's go over here to plugins and click on add new. And the plugin is called Ajax Search Lite. So here we can see the plugin by Ernest. Just click on install now. And once it is installed, just click on activate. Now after the activation, you can see that on the left side over here, we can see we have a new option called Ajax Search Lite. So let's click on that. And here we can see the options that we have for the Ajax search box. First of all, we can see that here we have some short code. So if you want to add this live search box into any of your posts or your pages, you can just copy this short code from here and add that short code to your post or your pages and the live search box will be available on your post or your page. But here we will update the current search box with the live search box. So for that we have this button over here called try to replace the theme search with Ajax search light form. It's also mentioned that it works with most of the themes but uh, it is not guaranteed to work with all the themes. So let's click on this button and let's see whether uh, the search works. So let's click on save options. And uh, let's go over here and uh, refresh our page. And here we can see our live search box is being displayed. And uh, sometimes if the search box is not being displayed, then uh, you can go over here to appearance and then click on widgets. And then here we have this widget available called Ajax Search Lite. You can just drag and drop this into your sidebar and just add the title and uh, the Ajax Search Lite will be available on your sidebar. And you can just delete the current search box from here. All right, our search box is already working. So I'll just leave it here and let's go back to the options. First of all, let's go ahead and check how it works. So let's add some characters over here. So I'll type S. And we can see all the posts with S are displayed over here. You can even scroll down and you can click on any of these uh, posts and that post will be opened. Let's type ST and it updates live. So this is how live search works. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the options that we have to customize. First of all, we have the option of adding the post types. By default, the post types added are posts and pages. You can add all of these post types over here. You can just drag and drop them over here or you can just click on these buttons. And then if you scroll down, we can see we have a lot of options like search in the title, search in the content, search in the post excerpts. So whatever term we have over here will be searched in these three places. But if you want to search in the permalinks or any other places, you can turn these options on as well. And then here we have the option of adding custom fields. So in WordPress, you have the option of uh, creating custom fields like title, content and all these fields. You can create custom fields. So you can even add custom fields over here. So just drag and drop them over here. And uh, then we have the post statuses and then the option of uh, searching password protected posts and uh, then searching in terms. So categories and tags. And uh, then let's go ahead and take a look at the behavior. And here we have the option of showing the exact matches only. So it'll be a little strict in searching. So if we turn this on, we can uh, 
set width match fields are in the search phrase so you can set it to start with the phrase or ending with the phrase or complete match i just turn this off and then we have keyword logic so whatever search terms we have it will uh, search for all the posts which have whatever keywords that we type over here if you select or then even if there is one keyword that is matching in the post then it will be shown as well so we'll just set it to and and then we have the option trigger search on face change this i will show you later because it depends on a different option that we have to select and uh, trigger search when typing so this is the option where the search is being displayed when we are typing and we can even set the minimum characters that the search should start with so right now if i click on this we can see that the search starts by default with zero characters if we set it to say two characters and uh, save it and let's refresh our page and now if we click on this uh, the search is not being displayed if i type some character it is still not being displayed and if i type one more character there are two characters so now the search is being displayed so this is how it works and then the next option is the maximum results that we can have and then we have the actions for the magnifier icon so when we click on this icon what should happen we can uh, set the options over here and even for the return key we can set what should happen and then we have the option of overriding the default wordpress search results so let's go ahead and take a look at the next option which is ordering and uh, here we can order how the search results are being displayed so we can order by relevance and uh, title descending or ascending and date ascending or descending and uh, the next is the autocomplete and suggestions so here we have the option of autocomplete so if i just type sa we can see that uh, there is some autocomplete displayed over here if i type sta we can see that some autocompleted word is being displayed over here so this is how the autocomplete works and uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the other option which is image options so in that you have the option of uh, showing the images in the search results so if i turn this off then uh, the thumbnails won't be shown in the search and the image width and height and then the image source settings so you can go ahead and change these options and take a look at how it works and uh, then we have the front end options so here we have the option of adding some more options to our search box so let me just turn this on and by default we have these options uh, that the user can select so let's go ahead and click on save now if i refresh this page we see that we have one more option over here so if i type something here we have this option of selecting the exact matches only or search in title search in content here the visitor has the option of filtering and uh, customizing the search results so this is one of the options that you can have in uh, this live search so this is what we are referring to when uh, we saw this behavior options over here trigger change on facet change so whenever we go ahead and make any changes in this uh, options then uh, it will trigger a search so this is the option that we had seen earlier all right so here we have some more options for the front end and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next option which is layout options and here we can set how the search box should look right now it is set to simple red we can set different options over here let me just go ahead and uh, select one that matches our theme I think this kind of matches our theme so let's keep it and you can change the placeholder text you can set the width of the box and uh, the font family you can set the font family to the font of your theme and uh, the background color and all of these uh, options over here and uh, then we have the results layout you can set how the results should be displayed on the screen and then we have the results behavior so how should the results be open should it be opened in a new window or not and all these options over here you can go ahead and change this and then we have the keyword highlighting so it will highlight the keyword that we had searched for in the search results and then we have custom css so if you know some css you can go ahead and add your own custom css and make it look the way you want it to look and lastly we have some advanced options over here so here we have the options like 
if there is some short code then uh, should we execute them or should we remove them and keep the content so these are some advanced options over here you can just go ahead and uh, experiment with this so let's go ahead and click on save and uh, let's check it once more and this is our new design let's type something and uh, here we have the results let's click on something and the post is being displayed over here so this is basically how you add a live search to your wordpress website so we had used this plugin called the ajax light search you can go ahead and take a look at the other options over here so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day